So now you think you're ready to bring home goats and you may be wondering, what in the world type should I get? Where should I look for them? Every situation is different and what works for me may not work for you. What works for you may not work for someone else. So you need to think long and hard about what your goal is on your land, on your property, in your situation. And you need to find someone who already is being successful in your situation. And maybe they just have a couple of goats to, for you to try weathers, for feeders to grow out, to get to know. Maybe you are ready to bring home a doe for milking. Whatever you're, you've decided your starting place is, you need to find someone who is keeping the animals as closely to as you're going to be able to provide the day you bring them home. Not somebody who has them the way you wanna raise them in 10 years, not you wanna find a project and turn it into what you want it to be. Find someone who is raising their goats in a similar way to how you will be able to in your situation. We need to be less concerned about what's the perfect breed, whether it's for meat or for milk, because every goat has meat and every goat has milk. And every goat that's a dairy goat isn't necessarily a good producer, and every goat that's a meat goat isn't necessarily producing prime cuts of meat. When you just get started, it's much more important that you find a goat compatible in personality and cared for the way you're going to. This will give you the most success initially because you will get along with the goat, you will be able to handle the goat, you will understand the goat, and it will already be accustomed to how you're doing things. Every situation maybe is not perfect. You may not find a goat that is exactly the situation you have, but you should be able to find one close enough. And be willing to drive a little further for something maybe a little better. I also wanna caution here against hobby farmers. I started out as a hobby farmer when I had goats. I was not breeding for any purpose. My goats had milk, my goats had meat. I may have gotten goats that were from milking lines or may have gotten a buck from you know a, a meat line, but I didn't have a plan. I wasn't a breeder and I didn't really know what I was doing at the po that point. I was just starting out. Are there goats that were nice in those original lines? Did I produce some nice goats? Yeah, but I didn't know, I didn't have the vision that somebody who is an established homestead or somebody who is a true breeder had. I didn't have the vision. I wasn't putting out animals that were appropriate for a homesteader. That's not what I was doing and that wasn't my goal. But just be aware of that. When people have something that's a pet, it may be healthy, it may be wonderful, but it may not be appropriate for a homesteading circumstance.